Hello everyone, it's Dwayne and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a break from my usual tone recreation videos that you may have seen, you may not have seen, but basically what I do is I usually will upload tone recreation videos that I create on the Quad Cortex and then guide you through the process, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I thought it'd actually be cool to show you how I create these videos uh, because I'm actually recording guitar, microphone and music at the same time and I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you how I've got uh, my setup basically configured to allow me to do that. Now, everyone probably has this, you know, d does this differently, but this is how I do it in case you're curious and you want to do it. So I'm going to take you to Streamlabs desktop here, Streamlabs OBS. And basically this is what I'm using to record the video. So you may be familiar with the open broadcast software. There's two variants. There's the OBS one, which I think is open source possibly, or it's the freeware one, basically. Then there's the Streamlabs one, which is also free, but they do have paid subscription that you can put over the top of that. I'm using the Streamlabs OBS, but as you can see here, I'm in the bottom right-hand corner of this screen, and I'm in the actual software itself. This is a view I don't usually use when I'm doing my videos. In initially, actually, the first couple of my playthrough videos, I think I was doing this little uh, picture in desktop capturing mode. But then what I ended up doing was switching between the different uh, scenes on the left here, which I'll show you in a minute. But basically I've got a stream deck as well sitting on my desk and I've got three buttons on there, well four actually. And one of the buttons allows me to go into this view you're seeing now, which I rarely use, as I said. Then I've got this view, which I use a lot when I just want to highlight something that I'm doing in cortex control, like creating a tone or something, or have to focus on something I'm doing on screen, but I don't need my mug on there at the same time. And then this view, hello, full screen view. So this is basically if I just want to talk directly to the camera and don't want anything on the desktop happening. So it's usually these, these two here, this one and this one that I use for my videos and that's it. Rarely this one anymore. So we're going to go back to this view here and we're going to run through a few things of how I've got it configured. So you can see on the right here, I've got a few things in my mixer. Only three of these things are used in my videos. Uh, before we get to the audio component, which I'm pretty certain is what most people would be interested in how I've configured that. You'll notice I've got all these uh, sources here. Now, basically, these two are remnants from streaming and they don't need to be in there. They can actually be deleted. So I'm going to get rid of those because that's from when I stream on Twitch or when I used to, I don't really do that anymore. This is the webcam here, as you can see, which is called rounded because it did have like a rounded thing on there and display capture on display one, which is my primary. And basically that's just used between this view and this view here and here and it allows me to share my screen so I'm doing stuff on there you can you know see cortex control basically or if I have something else open and that's that's pretty much what I do for my sources on there I'm going to go back to this live view here and you'll see I've only got two things webcam and display capture that's all I have in here I don't have any audio sources or anything now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this, and that is the audio settings. So we click on the little settings icon here and go to audio. You're going to see that I have quite a few tracks here. Now, the only tracks that matter in this instance are desktop audio device one. That is my desktop audio. If I play music through Spotify or YouTube or whatever, that's coming out onto this. This isn't being used, so we can just ignore that. This is my microphone. You can see it to the right here, uh, the little bar moving across as I speak. That's my audio interface microphone. So I'm using a PreSonus 24C audio interface, but it doesn't matter what you use. As long as you have instrument inputs, uh, you could use a, you know, I've got a Scarlett Focusrite as well to the left of me on my other computer. Uh, it doesn't matter what interface you're using. It's the same premise. So my microphone is plugged into the front of that. It's on a boom arm in front of me, as you can see. Um, and this one here is very important. This mic auxiliary device too. 
That is my quad cortex. So I've got it set to three and four. I don't think it actually matters too much of how you get these configured, but what I did was I've set this up. So this is the guitar. When the quad cortex, which I always have set to multiple outputs, it always goes into three and four. So when I play my guitar, this one here coincides with guitar over here. So that's pretty much pretty much what you got there. Now, in terms of recording, so Streamlabs obviously is known as streaming software, but it's you can see in the right hand corner here I'm recording. So I've got three audio tracks in here, and you can have up to six. Now the audio tracks on like having these separate, it's so important if you're recording a video, and I'll explain to that, explain to you shortly why that is. But you've got these three, or you've got all these audio tracks in here basically, you can give them names if you want. But all I do is set that to three, I've got my recording set, and I've got all this in there. So we'll exit out of that now, because what I'm going to show you is the meat and potatoes of the operation. So we click that little cog, and we've got main out, which is just the output of my audio interface. This is my desktop audio. So in my uh, tone recreations, I'm playing a song or I'm playing music through Reaper or wherever I'm playing it. I'm basically, this is, this is where it's coming from. This right here. Uh, and I've got that set to audio track one. So the reason that we have this set to uh, audio track is so when we export our video into Premiere Pro or whatever you use to edit your videos, you're going to have separate audio tracks. So this is always going to be audio one. I've got my microphone audio here and I've got that set to track two. Now, because it's going into my audio interface, one important thing here is I've got down mix to mono. If I don't do that, it's going to have one side, one channel basically of audio. So you're going to hear it in one speaker, but you want it to be two tracks and they're the same, like speaking is mono. So that's very important to have that. And obviously no monitoring and that's set to my microphone. So that's track two. So the audio from the desktop and the microphone are on separate tracks. Now this one is not used, so we can ignore that. But what you can see here is we've got guitar, which is our quad cortex three and four, and that is set to channel three. Now we don't down mix that to mono because we're getting a stereo signal from the quad cortex. But as you can see here, we've got three audio tracks, one, two, and three. Now, what that allows us to do is we can actually add in effects and stuff like that. So on my microphone, now these will differ depending on yours. I've got a noise suppressor here. I've got a noise gate with, you know, moderate settings on there. Basically, if I shout or I hit the microphone or do something, it's not going to, it's not going to come across as too loud. I'm normalizing the volumes. I've also got a compressor on there, and I've also got a limiter on there as well. So I've got four settings on there that just kind of normalizes my voice, makes it louder, kind of keeps all the transients and stuff kind of nice. You can tweak around with that. Uh, there's plenty of different settings you can play around with. On my desktop audio channel, I have a limiter there as well, because basically I don't want to have my volumes kind of blowing out of control when I'm recording the video. And I don't know if guitar has anything. No, it doesn't. So the guitar doesn't have any filters on there. I'm just bringing that in and leaving it as is. So that is basically how I've got things set up inside of Streamlabs OBS. Uh, really simple, as you can see. Uh, the key here is obviously your quad cortex has got to be plugged in by USB or it's not going to work. But then I'm going to take you into a video here that I did before and th I'm using Premiere Pro here but the premise is the same so you can see there's three audio tracks here on this top one is video and then you've got one two three now you may remember inside of Streamlabs wherever I can find it there inside of Streamlabs we had three audio sources and we had desktop audio on one my microphone on number two, and I had the guitar on number three. So using that logic, we know this row here, this one, that is the desktop audio. That's music or whatever sounds coming out of your computer. 
This one is me speaking, that's my microphone, and the bottom one here is the guitar. So you can actually see that we can solo, we can solo this video here. Sure, it's not playing anything. It's already over. No. Okay, so that's that's my microphone. I'm obviously not talking because it's a uh, playing part here. And then this one, it should just be my guitar. Oop, it's muted. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's the three audio tracks. Now, the reason that I do this, uh, if you're editing your video, sometimes your levels need to be tweaked. This allows you to say, okay, I want my guitar to be louder in the mix and the music, or I want the music to be louder, or, you know, something's too loud, I want to pull it down. So I can actually go in here and be like, well, my guitar isn't loud enough. So I can go, say, audio gain six, and we can blast that out there. Then we can play this, and you'll hear my guitar's louder. So that's the reason that I do that is it gives you that ultimate flexible control to control your levels. Otherwise, if everything's in the one audio channel, which you totally could do if you wanted to, you would have to make sure everything is perfect. And it also, it means that you don't get to do this. You don't get to add in limiters and compressors and all that kind of stuff onto your, um, onto your audio tracks, basically. So... That's, that's the setup. That's how I record my videos. Um, it's really, it's two sources, a webcam, display capture, and then the, the meat and potatoes here is the audio channels here. And that's it. Plug my guitar into Quad Cortex and I play over the top. Uh, once you stop hitting record, it's going to save a file onto your machine and then drag it into your video editor. And then that's it. That's the video. So... Yeah, there's not really much to it. Um, and hopefully, if you're wanting to do your own recording uh, in videos, I definitely recommend Streamlabs OBS or OBS as well would do it. Similar premise, I imagine. Just uh, having individual audio sources and remembering, um, yeah, to down mix your microphone to mono for one, because otherwise you'll have to go and fix that, which you can do after the fact too. I've accidentally um, used other scenes for other things that I record. Uh, where basically it, I forgot to switch that on and you can't fix, you can convert audio to mono, but it's just nice not having to edit your stuff after the fact. So I'm going to end the video there. I don't want to ramble. I just kind of wanted to explain rather quickly about my simple setup and how I record my videos. So that's the end of this. I uh, hope it helped you and hopefully I'll see you around in one of my other videos. Thank you.